All right, Shalom. The buzz from the GMS North Carolina camp. Raleigh, back with another lesson through the spirit and power. You have Bashimi Al Shai. Before we go any further, we we'll give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's own begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. <clears throat> Double honors to our Apostle, the elders of Great Millstone, teach us his truth according to the Bible and Hebrew well. And I shall one Lord sincere I can go to four points of your Christmas truth through diligence and sincerity and charity. And I shall one of the sincere followers, believers of Yahweh, by Shemi, I shy, not just hearers of the word. But doers as well, you men, women, and children, a whole four elect, show around. And um, you know, was able to get with the brothers, Shamar, the brother to come, all right, with a well willing edifying lesson through the spirit. Um, you know, there's a lot going on, you know, these last days, and one of these things that's going on right now is you know, the, the celebration of the birth of America, all right, and um, you know, it's Hebrew Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, we've always been in the house of mourning. All right, not feasting, not living it up. The, the, these traditions have nothing to do with you Israelites. All right. And the first thing Jacob said, well, you know, I'm not with it. You know, I'm just uh, 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 going to go get out and throw something on the grill, blah, 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 blah. Nah, man. Lord's not with that. All right. Because, look, Jake only do it when Esau allows him to do it, man. You know, Jake don't get up and, and just, you know, Throw something on the grill, blah, blah, blah. Nah, it's when, it's when uh, Master says they can do something, man. So without further ado, let's grab it for our first precept. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 2. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. For that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. That's right, man. See, as Hebrew Israelites, we're supposed to be going to the house of mourning. We're, we're in a state, all right, where we're first fired, last hired, you know, the butt of every joke, can't make it over the hump, working two or three jobs, all right? We should be in the house of mourning. Look, we got our, our, our enemy ruling over us. Hey, uh, now, come, um, get Haggai 1 and start at 5, Baba Gachow. You know, Jake don't understand, man, that look, we, we we wasn't fit to win on this side right now. All right. But yeah, our people uh, uh, are living it up. All right. This living a good old time. Meanwhile, the so-called white man is getting ready to come down. All right. There was unrighteous laws, decrees. All right. To come at who? The Israelites, the so-called Negro Latino Native Americans for his final round. He got in the come. Time. This is Haggai chapter 1, verse 5. Now, therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, <clears throat> Yahweh Bashem Awashai, consider your ways. Verse 6, ye have so much and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Mm -hmm. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. Mm -hmm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it into a bag with holes. That's right, man. He that earneth wages, earn into a bag filled with holes. You know, this is not our rest, man. Here it is. Jake is 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 in the house of uh, feasting, not seeking the Lord, not turning back. And look, meanwhile, you don't have enough food, you don't have enough water. All right, evictions are at an all-time high. All right. But yet still, somehow, some way, Jake will still find a way to live it up here, man. When the court of Micah 2 and 10, this is not our rest, man. Consider your ways, Israel. Consider your ways. Are they righteous or are they wicked? <clears throat> that was it, Nakam. Finish off at verse 7. Yep. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Yahabah Shemawashai. Consider your ways. As he said again, consider your ways. All right, you got to think about it. But like, <laughs> like it tells you Isaiah, the first chapter, Jake don't even consider who they are. So they're not going to consider the ways of the Lord. They, they're going to think that this is not talking about them. Go ahead, Shamar, go back to that Ecclesiastes 7. Ecclesiastes 72, 
it is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. And that's why we should be mourning. All right, what the brother that come just read in um, Haggai, the first chapter. All right. Which is going back to the curses, but, you know, it's one of the main reasons why we should be mourning, man. Go ahead. It says, but well, that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Go ahead. Sorrow is better than laughter, mm -hmm. for by sadness, the continence of the heart is made better. Yeah, your mind is made better. All right? You, you start to sober up. All right? And, and look... <laughs> Uh, sorrow times are coming, man. You're not able to feed your food or you feed your family, feed yourself. All right, it's gonna make you start thinking. Then, then you're gonna start wanting to think. Then you're gonna want to uh, 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 consider your ways. Then, right? Well, how did this all start? How did this happen? You know. Meanwhile, you were chucking and jiving, not taking heed to what's being um, prophesied to you through the apostles and elders, great millstone on down. Right? Stores gonna shut. Curfews, martial law, famine, pestilence, diseases. Meanwhile, oh yeah, man, we gonna we gonna get together for the fourth. You know, we gonna throw we gonna throw down, man. You know, but like the scriptures say, was that Hosea four and six? My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And somebody can hold that on deck. Uh, keep reading, it, Shamar. It says. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fool is in the house of mirth. Yeah, the heart of the wise in the house of mourning. The prudent man foreseeth the evil and he hideth himself. All right, and that's what we're telling you. All right, we, 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 we the scriptures say, um, matter of fact, um, matter of fact, um, get in the come. Uh, and that, and that Proverbs, a prudent man, it's Proverbs 22, I believe it is. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. All right. So the, the mind of a wise man is going to hide himself within these scriptures. He's going to hide himself within the uh, uh, the, 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 the wings all right, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which is this word. All right. But a fool will block him, a meatball, a nick and poo, a jackass. All right. His mind gonna be in the house of Murph. It's gonna be in the house of Murph. You got in the come? Time. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 3. A prudent man foreseeth the evil mm -hmm. and hideth himself. Mm -hmm. But the simple pass on and are punished. Yeah, and they're gonna be punished at these upcoming uh, um, 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 destructions that you have about you know, shall have for our people. The ones who uh, took this uh, this grace period, this liberty for a joke, all right? The freedom they had to repent and turn back to the Heavenly Father, they cast it away, all right? They're going to wish they never did that. The ones that are in, in the, um, the spirit of mirth, and um, I got that definition, when you go into mirth, it's an amusement, especially as expressed in laughter, all right? And Jake is with that spirit of let the good times roll. They don't care how, how high gas is. They don't care if they got to uh, 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 pay double. They don't care if there's a, 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 a shortage of this, that, or oh, I'll just go to the next store. I'll go I'll, I'll go to, I'll find it. All right? That's the mindset of our people, man. Go ahead. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 3. Mm -hmm. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Yeah, and simple ones of our people are passed on and punished, man. For not what? For not for, for not seeking the Lord. All right. For going into the house of mirth, the house of laughter, the house of uh cheer, high spirits. All right, fun, enjoyment, amusement, pleasure is one of the uh, synonyms. All right, pleasure. That's that's all that people are about is pleasure, whether it's through the uh, uh, um, you know these other religions, whether it's through uh, uh, um, you know food, whether it's you know carnal ways, smoking, drugs, whatever, sexually. 
Okay. That was it on that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Go back to uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 2, I mean, 7 and 3, Shamar, or 4, wherever you was, re you was at. Yeah. I think it was 4. It was um, um, <coughs> 3, 5, the last one. Ecclesiastes 7 and 4 again. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, mm -hmm. but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. Yep. Better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. Yeah, better to hear, hear the uh, the rebuke of the wise, right? And we consider ourselves wise, wise, because we come with the wisdom and knowledge to understand the scriptures. Isaiah 8 and 20. We're speaking according to this book, because if we don't, there's no light in this, man. All right? Now people don't want to hear this rebuke. Going back to Proverbs 1. And 20, somewhere around there, the Lord called and, and, and his people refused. All right, the Lord has stretched out his hand. All right, it says, it's better, right, to hear the rebuke of the wise than, than for a, a man to hear the song of fools. Right, and what's the song of fools? The ways of this world. Going back to, um, matter of fact, I, I, I'll get it for one of you brothers. Mm hmm. I get it for one of you, brothers. We'll go to Colossians, the second chapter. Slide in. This Colossians chapter two, verse eight, whichever brother wanted, it says, "Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, at the tradition of men, at the rudiments of the world, and not at the Hamashiach." Do you hear me, Kabat? Yep. Bob, you read it one more time. Okay. This is uh, Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. It says, Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, at the tradition of men, at the rudiments of the world, and not at the Hamashiach. That's right. It said, Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. And that word spoil you means to rob. So it's a lot of false prophets, as the scripture has said, that's gone into the world. Who is trying to spoil you? Who's trying to rob you, Israelites? You so-called Negroes lie to an American's mind, you know, through philosophy and vain deceit, through lies. You see, by not coming, thus says the Lord, that says the Holy Bible. By that, you see, they're leaning onto their own understanding of what they think is right and trying to get you to believe their false doctrines and their lies. And so the Lord said, Beware, lest any man spoil you. <laughs> you see, because they're not coming, thus says the Lord, that says the Bible. Then what? They're lying to you, and you need to stay away from it. The letter J that came out uh, yesterday. <laughs> oh, man. Jake is through out here. You can um, read that last part, the bottom part, Kabbalah, if you don't mind. Yep, yep, yep. It says, after the rudiments of the world and not at the Hamashiach. Yeah, because that's what these false prophets who were trying to rob you who is trying to rob your mind, that's what they're trying to get you to do. They're trying to get you to follow the ways of this world and not at the Hamashiach. They're trying to get you to think that what? Following the ways of Esau and everything that he's pushing out is right and, and following at the Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Bashi is wrong. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's right. Um, would you hold anything, Shamar? Come on, come on. This is a... Uh... Go ahead. Yeah. James 4 and 6. But he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, the most high resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Real loud, I can't hear you. This is uh, James chapter 4, verse 6. But he, but he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, the most high resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. That's right, man. And that's what you, you want to be the humble. All right. The proud, the ones of our people, the proud ones are in a state of mirth right about now, man. All right. Not a care in the world. They look, they they departed from our maker already, man. All right. See, these lessons we do are only for the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay, which consists of the so-called Negro Latin or Native American, where they are scattered. All right. That's what we do these lessons for, man. 
We know two thirds gonna get caught out there, but the remnant that's among them is right. Who is who? This word is 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 uh um the Lord is using us right to seal them with this word, man. All right, we don't do on sealing. The Lord just uses us. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Submit yourselves, therefore, to the Most High. Resist the devil, and he will flee. I mean, mm -hmm. flee from. You. Draw nigh to the Most High, and he will draw nigh to you. Mm -hmm. Cleanse your. And look, and, and that, look. How can you resist the devil, right? But well, at first, it start. It starts in, with prayer. All right, and, and call on the true names of the heavenly Father, on me, God, and Son. Yeah, by Shimei, I was shot. And then you, the company that you keep, man, you know, you got to watch the company that you keep because, you know, what the scripture said, can two walk together unless they agree. So, you know, if you're not down with niggas, you can't separate, you can't be around niggas, man, because they're going to make you do niggas, niggas stuff, man. All right. Go ahead. Yes. Draw nigh to the most, draw nigh to the most high and he will flee from you. I mean, slack it. Draw nigh to the Most High, and He will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Yeah, purify your hearts, your mind, ye double-minded. Because remember, the scripture said, "Double-minded man is unstable in all his ways." Right? And it starts with repenting, man. It starts with repenting. But Jake, Jake don't know anything about repenting because it's not it's not taught to them they don't tell you in school that you're supposed to repent for for your wrong thoughts sins and doings all right and, and, and then when you get to the church the ch <laughs> repent for what the lord already died for our sins you know that's what that's that's the message that they came with so um the come are you holding anything i got one Okay, uh, Shamar, were you finished with that? Huh? More scriptures. It was just two more scriptures. It's two more verses? Yeah. Go ahead. It says, Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And he shall lift you up. And that's the point. Our people don't want to humble themselves, man. They're too busy doing their own thing. Right? Oh, man. Shit. Yeah, yo, yo, man. Hey, look, we're going to throw them um, pork chops on the grill. You know? What's that thing they like to do in, um, what is it, Louisiana? Uh, what is it? They make, they make those. Uh, <laughs> Seafood broils. Yeah, 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 yep, yep. You know, Jake is stirring up a pot of that right about now. You know, getting down. Right, but then you tell Jake they're not supposed to do these things, they get proud. Okay, that spirit starts, rah, rah. somebody get them out of here, you know. Was that it on that, bro? Come, come. All right, we're gonna bring out a couple more and wrap it up. Go ahead, Nikon. Shamar actually took my priest I was about to read, but I, I actually got another one if you don't mind. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, this is Ecclesiastes. I'm gonna start at, on chapter three, starting at verse one. To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. That's right. Jump See, how people don't understand there's a there's a time and place for everything. All right, here it is. We 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 on the break of World War Three, you know, according to Revelation 11, and you know, um, what 14 somewhere around there. All right, we on the break of it, and our people <laughs> they think it's you know this is all uh, fun times, man. It's the summertime, you know, the women are in the summer dresses, you know, it's time to get out there and have fun. Meanwhile, you got evictions on the rise, all right? You got these, these, these pestilent diseases that are popping up, 
locusts is all over the place up to the uh, biblical proportions. All right. But Jake just, they're going. You got it, bro. Mm-hmm. It says, jumping down to verse 4, a time to weep and a time to laugh, mm -hmm. a time to mourn, and a time to dance. Well, but Jake, that's 24-7. But Jake, that's 24-7, that's man. They're laughing, joking, playing, goofing around 24-7, man. They're not taking these, these times that they're living in seriously. That's why we're going to um, uh, we'll probably end off on Ecclesiastes 9. And somebody hold that, Ecclesiastes 9 and 12. You got it, bro. That was it on that. That was it? Mm -hmm. What you want, Shamar? Really, I had a uh, uh, First John chapter two verse fifteen. Come, on. love not the world. They come, you got it. It says, "Love not the world, neither the thing, neither the things that are in the world." Right. So, where's as you so called Negroes like to marry you? It's like men and children. We're not supposed to love the world. You see, because this world is wicked. He said, what? Neither the things that are in the world. Because what are some of the things that are in this world? Money, cars, clothes, women, you know, and so forth and so on. And the things that's in this world, if you love it, and you put all your time and your energy into it, instead of putting all your time and your energy into how about it, you're going to start to go to hell off. So the Lord said, what? Love not the world. Neither the things that are in the world. Read on. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. That's right. So if you love this world and the things that come with being in this world, and you're giving all your time and energy to this, then guess what? The love of the Father is not in you. You see? Yahweh and God, they want us to be separate from this world. They want us to cast out that old man from us once being in this world and come back to them. Serving them the right and true way and sincerity in it. it says, For all that are in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but of the world. Right. So, all of you so called Negroes, like Americans that are in this current world, you know, who are holding on to everything that's in this world. It's what? The lust of the eyes, everything that you see that you might want, the lust of the flesh, things that you want to get into, the pride of life. It's not of Yahweh Bashimal Shah, because Yahweh Bashimal Shah, they hate pride. You see? And pride goes before destruction. So we can't love this world because this 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 world, this kingdom of E, it's on a it's on a, a decline and it's falling. So we got to come up out of this world and come back unto your high body, my God, because the Lord is judging this place, man. That's right. That's right. Any more? That's more. Last one. And the world passeth away, and the lust of and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of the Most High abide forever. Right, and this world. This this, this 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 kingdom is going to pass away, man. How? Ultimately, ultimately, Salakia, ultimately by two hundred ICBM missiles on warheads, which is going to hit this place, and those chariots shooting contrary fire at this place. You see, this is how this world is going to pass away. But the ones who are doing the will of Yahweh, Shah, that one hundred forty-four thousand, the most two believers, which consists of men, women, children, you're going to buy forever, all the way up into that next kingdom to come. Lord willing, if we're that number. That's why we're pushing and striving to be of that number. Well, that's why we're doing this work. Yep, yep. This work going to pass away, too. Like you said, he was going to um, read Second Peter, the third chapter. It tells you that this place is going to melt with fervent heat. All right. Um, uh, let's get... Uh, let's get Sirach. Not Sirach. Please ask these 9 and 12. Mm-hmm. You got that, Shamar? 
is uh, Ecclesiastes 9 and 12. For man also, for man also knoweth not his time as the fishes that are taken in an evil net and as the birds that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of men snared in evil time when it falleth suddenly upon them. That's right, man. The fishes don't know. The birds don't know. Once that trap is getting getting laid for them, they don't know that that, that trap's set for them, right? They get caught up. Hey, look, it's, it's a rat. Just like just like our people, man. All right, when that when that trap suddenly falls upon them, that's why the scriptures say, "Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord." All right, this is not the time to be, you know. Uh, uh, what's that song by Jaru? Everybody be living it up. Say what I do, <laughs> you know. It, it, but that's the spirit of Jake, man. You know they, they've been this, you know, locked up. I guess you could say for two years. All right, from the um the demic. Now they want to get out. They want to, you know, um, you know, and get loose, man. But we're supposed to be seeking the Lord. We're supposed to be turning back to Him. All right. Put me uh, a morning in a state of mourning right now, man. All right, uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead and come. Um, uh, matter of fact, um, Shamar, hold me, um, Sirach, uh, 18, what is 18 and 14. You got one to come, Con, Um, it's in Ezekiel, but the point is a little down. If you don't mind me just reading this little. Uh, just get to the point. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. This is Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the forehead of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. You got it. That's right. So as this lesson they were going into, we're supposed to be in a mournful state. And what the Lord told the angel to go through the midst of the city of Jerusalem, which Jerusalem is a people of, a people before a place. He said, What? Set a mark. Which when you go into that word mark, it goes into the which means a zip from judgment. So there's a certain lot of people out here, the elect, the 144,000, and the most believers who are going to get that zip from judgment that's coming to this place called America. Why? Because what are they doing? As the scripture said, they are out here crying and crying. They're mourning because of all the abominations that's taking place on the face of the earth. You see? They're mourning because of this devil eater, so called white man polluting the earth. They're mourning because two thirds of our own people are going to hell off and not returning back to your high body tomorrow. Child. You see, so this is the state that they elect the nation. They're going to be signed and crying for all the abominations, all the wickedness is going on out here. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, Shamar. Uh, sh sh uh, sh uh, sh it's the Rock chapter 18, verse 14. He have mercy on them that receive. Yeah, that's what I want. yeah, yeah, that was it. That was it. That was it. Uh, Sirach, uh, 18 and 14. He yeah. have them that receive discipline and that diligently seek after his judgments. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so the Lord's gonna have, have, have mercy on them that seek him, all right. That diligently, right? He will read again. <clears throat> uh, Sirach, 18 and 14. Yeah, Her, them that receive discipline and that diligently seek after his judgments yeah so the lord says he's gonna have mercy on them that receive this discipline all right it says when you go into that word mercy it means compassion forgiveness right shown towards someone who it is within one's power to punish or harm so the lord's gonna show mercy to those that what receive this discipline they don't just cast it behind them, all right? And start shooting off fireworks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The Lord's gonna, gonna, gonna show compassion, right? And that's what our people want. That's what our people need these last days. We need the passion, compassion of the Lord. We need the tender mercies of, of David, man. All right? 
but only for those that diligently seek after his judgments, man. All right, and that's why we're supposed to be in the house of mirth, man. I mean, the house of uh, mourning. So I can slip up, slip of the tongue, man. Slip of the tongue. <laughs> you know, we're supposed to be in the house of mourning, man. All right. And it starts with diligently seeking Yahweh by Shemuel Shot. Any closing um, statement, brothers? Pretty much, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much, um, seek the Lord while you can, you know. If you're seeking the Lord, you're not, you know, you're not partaking in all this nonsense and foolishness that's going on, you know. You're in that, uh, sorrowful state, you know, because you already know the things that are going to befall you, you know. Isaiah 33, was the knowledge and understanding of the stability at times and strength of salvation. Fear the Lord is his treasure. So, you know, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is going to be, and this fear is going to be our treasure, our stability in these end times. You know, come, come. You know, as the apostles, you know, labeled this year, this is the year of turn up, man. And ever since this year jumped off, it's been nothing but, you know, things just turning up, prophecies coming to pass. And if you knew to come to this channel, you knew to coming into this faith, you know, I, I, I advise, brothers advise you, you know, to get to the spirit, you know, keep paying attention, keep watching, man. Go on to the house of morning, in the house of morning, you know, because things going on is going to get worse. Brothers going through every week, you know, prophecies is, this devil is on a, he's on the move. Gas prices going up, famine's on the horizon, pestles are getting worse. Lord willing, we're going another lockdown, man. So this is the time to be in a state of mourning and the time to be in a state of repentance because all hell is about to break loose, man. That's right. Well said, brothers. Well said. So look, you know, before we close, let's give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles, elders, and great millstone, teach us his truth according to the Bible and the law. Another shall one our sincere actions on the four points of your pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity and in charity. All right, and another shall one my sincere followers, believers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, not just hearers of the word, but doers as well, you men, women, and children, the whole four elect. All right, Shalom.